For the first time, we're seeing the start of school in a pandemic, and nearly all of the 165 students in the Tri-County School District are headed back to class. I really don't see any difference between starting now and starting a month from now. Superintendent David Probasco tells me having a small rural district has its benefits. Social distancing is easier on buses and in classrooms, and coronavirus case numbers are low in the three counties the district serves. The vast majority uh, you know, of our families want to send their kids to school. And so if that's their choice, we want to be able to honor that and provide that in-person instruction. Administrators say they understand the virus will likely lead to closures at some point, big or small. That's why they want kids back now. They'll spend time this week practicing with laptops and lesson plans to prepare for the possibility of remote learning. We feel like if we can work with them and teach them in school how to learn from home, that will be the most effective strategy. That being said, precautions are being taken. Parents have to fill out a checklist before kids get on the bus. Masks are being handed out. They're recommended for students, required for most staffers. And a thermal imaging camera will be used every day to check temperatures at school. It's a difficult situation for everybody, and we're just trying to work to make it a little bit easier you know, for everybody and something that they can work through. Another hurdle involves internet access. Because the district is so rural, some households can't get online, even with a hotspot. I'm told teachers have binary is ready to go just in case students have to stay home at some point this year. Cody Holmio, KNBC 9 News.